Hi, this is Omar Gubat Istanbullu, and I am an assistant professor at the Department of Biomedical Engineering at Eskişehir Osman Gazi University in Turkey. My presentation is going to be about enhanced radiographic performance of 3D printable polymeric vascular stents. The outline of my presentation is given here. After briefly discussing the human circulatory systems and disorders, one of the treatment methods, which is stent placement, and the main stent types will be addressed. Since there are stent-based issues arise depending on the structure and material type of the stents, the stent challenges will be examined. The X-ray visibility of the stent and its enhancement techniques will be discussed and supported by a simulation study in this presentation. Finally, the future directions of this study will be given at the end of this video. Human circulatory system consists of heart, arteries, veins, and capillaries, which transport the blood and fluid through the body, including oxygen, nutrients, proteins, and drugs. This leads to sustaining the tissue and organ viability. However, vascular disorders may arise in the vessels. When a pass vascular pathway blocked by a clot or plaque accumulation, it will result in nutrients and oxygen deficiency of the tissues and organs. When it arises in heart vessels, coronary diseases occur. Brain vessel disorders result in stroke and peripheral vessel occlusion may lead to severe pain or organ loss. So vascular disorders must be treated immediately before it is too late. There are three main treatment methods of vascular disorders, which are balloon angioplasty, bypass operation, and stent placement. A stent is metallic or polymeric lattice-shaped tubular apparatus as seen in these images. They can provide restoring the blood flow in occluded vessel. Stents are utilized in coronary or peripheral diseases, renal or carotid artery stenosis, abdominal aortic aneurysm. There are four main groups of the stents, which are bare metallic, drug eluting, coated or biodegradable stents. The, the first three group stents are generally produced using nitinol 316L stainless steel, cobalt chromium alloy, or tantalum alloy. There is, there is a biodegradable coating, there is a biodegradable polymeric coating layer in drug eluting stents, which can release therapeutic agents. The coating Coated stents have a coating layer to isolate the stent material with the biological tissue. However, each of these three group stents are made of identical substrate materials. While the first three group manu manufactured using similar materials, there are significant material and production difference in biodegradable stents. The metallic structure of other three form provides a permanent stand, permanent stand design utilizing biodegradable materials such as PLA or polylactic acid, polyglycolic acid, or magnesium alloys makes them to degrade in the body over time. If we compare four main stent groups, it can be concluded that the first three groups can provide a better mechanical features and stand positioning and deployment is in a stand biodegradable stance. However, the higher resistance risks, corrosion issues, controlling the drug eluting mechanism for drug eluting stance, the abrasion risks of the coating layer for coated stance are main challenges of these three group stands. Despite there is no resistance risks in biodegradable stance, their mechanical weakness, degradation rate control, and accurate positioning within the vessel are the main challenges need to be addressed for biodegradable stats. 
the challenges in the degradation rate control and the hardness with for the positioning within the vessel arise due to they are not visible under X-ray imaging modalities. An ideal stand has to provide high corrosion resistance, hemocompatibility, biocompatibility, flexibility, mechanical durability, material repellent feature, in addition to medical imaging device compatibility and being visible using medical image devices. Since the stands are placed by utilizing X-ray angioplasty and it is a minim minimally invasive procedure, the visibility of the stands under X-ray exposure is very essential. Medical imaging devices using X-ray exposure generates the medical images depending on the radon transform methodology. These medical images are generated using the X-ray beam having the energies between the 20 and 150 kilo electron volts. The X-ray visibility feature directly affects on navigating the stand through the body within the vascular pathway, accurate stand positioning, and precise deployment, deployment of the stands. While metallic stands provide a better visibility under X-ray, biodegradable stands are not able to be distinguished from other biological structures. Therefore, they are not visible in the X-ray images during angioplasty. To overcome this problem, radiopaque markers, as seen here, are utilized for stand positioning, but using these radiopaque markers doesn't give any clue or information about real-time situation of the stand during the angioplasty procedure. Therefore, these need to be addressed and overcome. As seen in these images, even different type of metallic stands made of cobalt chromium alloy, cobalt and nickel alloy, 316L stainless steel, platinum and chromium alloy. Uh, each of these stands have different visibility capabilities under X-ray. Utilizing the radio plug markers is an obligation for biodegradable stand deployment in generic biodegradable stand designs. Be because uh, it's because of these biodegradable stands are not as visible as the metallic stand types. Otherwise, if we don't use the radio pack markers for on biodegradable stands, the stand cannot be placed to the target region accurately. The X-ray visibility of structures and materials depend on their X-ray mass attenuation coefficients. As seen in this graph, the attenuation coefficients depend on the applied X-ray energy and the structure type. The higher visibility under X-ray can be achieved with the higher mass attenuation coefficients. For instance, for a cortical bone structure can be clearly seen in the X-ray images, the soft tissues or blood are not visible due to their lower attenuation coefficients as seen in this graph. The key factors impact on the X-ray visibility include the material density, X-ray absorption rate, atomic number of the material, and the energy level of the X-ray beam. The material thickness also impacts on the X-ray visibility of the material. The reason for stands made up by a degradable material such as PLA or PSL not to be visible in X-ray images is related to their attenuation coefficients are identical to those of biological structures such as blood, muscle, and soft tissues. However, the materials such as titanium, iodine, or tantalum have a higher attenuation coefficient. Utilizing them as radiopath reinforcement material provides 
designing an X-ray visible biodegradable stands and leading them to be distinguished from other biological structures. Here, a simulation study of X-ray imaging of 3D printable polymeric vascular stands made of PLLA material is conducted. In this simulation, increasing the X-ray visibility of biodegradable 3D printable PLLA stands by radiopath tantalum microparticle reinforcement is aimed. The flowchart of this simulation study is given here. First, a 3D model of a stand placed plug containing vessel is created as given in this image. Then, 2D model of this design is obtained from a selected cross sectional plane from YZ cross sectional plane uh, as given here. The 2D model then imported to MATLAB to study the X ray image estimation of the model. The model here contained the biological tissues of muscle, vessel wall, blood flow, and plaque layer in addition to stand struts as given here. The stand struts are also included in the MATLAB model. Here, the stand is designed by both pure and tantalum reinforced forms in order to compare the estimated X-ray images of these two models. The X-ray attenuation coefficient values of each structures are assigned considering the previous literature studies as seen here. The sinogram matrices are obtained by applying the Redden transform to each design 2D models. The estimated X-ray images then generated by applying the inverse Redden transform to these sinogram images. Here, 2D MATLAB models of both pure and microparticle reinforced stands containing designs are given. The pure stand is given at the top, and the tantalum microparticle reinforced stand uh, design is given in the, at the bottom. The sinogram images are obtained as seen in these two images. The difference between the sinogram matrices are clearly visible when comparing these two images. The estimated X-ray images indicate that the tantalum radiopack microparticle reinforced stands provide a better visibility than the pure stands. Here, for the tantalum microparticle reinforced stands model, the estimated X-ray image indicate that the stand struts are clearly visible and can be distinguished from other biological structures in the images. If we have a look at to the potential applications of such studies, the X-ray visibility enhancements of stands can lead to a better and accurate stand positioning, precise stand deployment in the arteries. In addition to these features, since the Tantalum radiopark microparticles have a better mechanical features than the biodegradable stand material itself. It can improve the mechanical features of the stand as well. X-ray visible stands can be utilized in degradation process monitoring and drug release follow-up after post-implantation. In the future, with the development of advanced radiopark materials, the higher visibility and lower image artifact effects and ideal biocompatibility can be achieved. By integrating the X-ray visibility with magnetic compatibility, for instance, such structures can be used both in MRI, in, in other words, magnetic resonance imaging devices, and computer tomography systems can be used together. As previously mentioned, such techniques can be utilized for new stand designs that can be monitored for degradation process and therapeutic agents release follow-up after post-implantation. So this is the end of my presentation. I would like to thank you for your attention and watching this video. 
I provided my contact details here. If you need any further information, please do not hesitate to contact me via telephone, email, or visiting me here.